Hi there, welcome back to Anderson's TV. My name is Rob and I'm here with Marcel from Antelope. How are you doing today? Doing good, Rob. Yeah. Good it's a nice, again. hot, sticky day in the studio it's today. It's very warm and comfortable. Moist. Yes. I'd say moist. It's a little too comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing today? It was snowing. We had a bunch of snow. <laughs> we had a snowstorm the last time I here. We did. And this time we have a I heat I think you wave. just bring the extremes. I know. That's what it yeah, is. I know. It's, so, that's, that's, right. that's, that's, that's it last time you were here. And to that you. point. Yeah. <laughs> I brought some extreme technology. <laughs> <laughs> Too much fun? <laughs> Too much fun. We are now looking at the Verge microphones today. Correct. We obviously looked at the, was it the edge. edge before, and we have software. Correct. Software is the big deal today. That's right. Should we start with the Verge? Yeah, we got the Verge. So we, we, last time we recorded Meg, the lovely Meg, the, your vocalist mm -hmm. here. You have in-house musicians, <laughs> great musicians here at Anderson's. Um, so yeah, we listened to her do some singing, sort of on her own, and then over we showed using a different mic yeah. on each take. If you haven't seen that video, check that yeah, one out because I know a lot of people like, like that one. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, and this time we wanted to do like an ensemble, so we had her and I think it's Paul. Yeah, yeah, Paul's in. And so they did a little performance together, mm -hmm. a little Maroon Five track, and. Uh, yeah, it, it it basically now what you could show I guess after your your viewers is her with a, some different vocal mm -hmm. options, some different microphone options. Yeah, and then change his guitar and find the right uh, guitar. And this is the plugins. This is all through the software. Well, correct. We, okay. We have that. We could do that live, but this time they weren't monitoring because they were no, just no. in a small room, yeah. so they were just sort of playing and singing and, and vibing off each other. And so, um, but you've got the plugins for those models, so you can do that after the fact in post production and just sort of say, oh. Let's try that, you know, that uh, the 184 uh, mm -hmm. model or, or whichever sure. one you want. So, um, yeah, and also then the plugins, uh, they're running on the FPGA RFX, but you can run those through as well after the fact, either run them through, record them, or the beautiful thing about the Antelope stuff is it sounds so good. The first thing everybody said is when we, we oh, let's check the audio. Mm. Wow, it sounds great. Yeah. Uh, there, there isn't as much work to do, like heavy lifting mixing. And Definitely. so because you get that sound, because you have that antelope clocking, you have the antelope quality. So everyone asks about the effects. The truth, the truth of the matter is you print them really clean and you don't need as much effects. Mm -hmm. So you're not trying to fix your sound. You've already got your sound intact. And uh, that really is the strength of the antelope stuff. It's get that sound right and you end up working a lot quicker. And you use a lot less resources and a lot less plugins after the fact. Really, what you do have are really, really good ones that run in real time. Matter of fact, you could just print and commit on the front end to, through yeah. those effects. Okay, that, that's that's an interesting thing to have because a lot of people worry about printing straight away. They like want to have options and be like, right, this is this, this, and this. But having the real time, correct, means you can choose either. I guess that's true, and you can, correct. That was where, where I was going with that, and that's what we did. Yeah, yeah. We just went ahead and went, okay, we'll just turn the models off on the way in, yeah. and then you can use the models after. Um, if we were monitoring through a stack of effects, we could print wet and dry, and you have that option after the fact. The, another way to do this is, you know, go ahead and print it dry. And then kind of dial in your effects after the fact, create okay. some presets, some stacks, some settings that you like, and especially for drum kits, which when you, if you're dealing with different yeah. drummers, different kids, different playing styles, they're all going to have their, their way of playing, so you can have templates set up, save the presets, and have those things all processed, ready to go, and done. We even have gates now, so you can put a noise gate in there, and everything's yeah. locked in. So that, so that is extremely clever. Singer comes yeah. in, oh, I've got a, a, a preset stack that I like for this singer. Yeah. And then you really are printing and done because you already know this is the sound I like and I do this all the time I have a bunch of mastering clients I always say I'm a glorified end <laughs> user it's my job what a super user it's, you know? easy, it's yeah. really what I am because um, I, I go home work on this stuff talk to the software guys use the products use the gear and go to a trade show visit an occasional dealer make a video um, and really just talk about this stuff and that's literally what I do which is a, kind of a fun job to have to be honest but um, I make Templates because different mix engineers. I've done a lot of work lately with the 
uh, multiple Grammy winner Brian Vibberts, who's worked with okay. Jackson, Mariah Carey, mm -hmm. and everybody. I'm fortunate enough to do a lot of his mastering for him now. And I know his levels. I know what his levels are going to be. I know kind of what he needs. So I make a template, I have now a template mm -hmm. based, and I can tweak that depending on is it a male vocalist, is it a female, is it, he, I, we even did a spoken word track recently. And I just save, okay, this is a, my Brian Vibberts kind of settings sure. and then I don't have to do as much heavy lifting it makes the process and for every client I have a preset saved so every time I, I'm do already ready. Do you find ready. that when you've got a preset from someone else you'll tweak it so you'll That's bring it correct. in and then you'll adjust it for the next person? If and I so get on. a new client I can say okay I'll just tweak it from, a base, sure, yeah, yeah. You know, from somebody else uh, because there is a signal path that I sort of mm. like to work with but you know it's not one size fits all but it certainly makes life a whole lot yeah, easier yeah, and with mixing mastering is no different time is of the essence anything you can do to speed up that process and have a template it just means you're going to be able to do more work the more work you make you know the more yeah. clients you have everyone's happier the faster you work yeah definitely. so and this and that is something that Antelope really has a strong suit is how, speeding up your workflow by having these real time effects I think that's the main thing that I've heard from most people who looked at it. I've not had a huge amount of time on it myself, but from what I've heard from yourself and from various reviews and sort of YouTube videos, that is the main thing: is speeding up your workflow, making it easier to get good results without having to spend all the man hours. If, if anything, they've asked for more. Yeah. So it's like uh, you know, Mike Kozowski, Brian Vibberts, Greg Wells. Uh, this is like our brain mm. trust of VIPs. These are yeah. all you know, amazing engineers. Obviously, we've, we've probably heard of most of, most of them, but we're talking about Coldplay. And uh, Greg Wells had like the number one album with the greatest show. Yeah, 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 he yeah. produced that whole thing. It was so great. And these are heavy users. These are they're like me. They're super users. Mm. And uh, you know, I always check with them every few months. How's everything? Oh man, I'm using. And actually, here's a cool story. Brian Vibberts is mixing right now a new Chick Corea record. He's won five Grammys mixing Chick Corea. Mm. And he's using all Antelope FX. He said, I'm using it all. So it's all 96K, tracked and mixed, and all of the effects are the Antelope, except unless he had, unless there was something we didn't have. Yeah. It's like, so it's gonna be 80, 90% AFX on the whole record. Um, because he just, they just sound so spectacular wow. in his words. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he said, these just sound so great. I just wanna use them all. I wanna make a, a special sort of record. That's a great plug, really good. Um, in terms of the setup when we were recording, really basic. It was literally just the, the two mics we've got here, and you didn't do anything fancier than that? That well, was just it? It set the levels. And we plug everything in, and the only thing we really had to do was, oh, well, the vocal was a little hot, pull mm -hmm. it back two dBs, you know? That's really all we had to do, press record. And Paul did that. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> easy as I that. just sat off camera and pulled my <laughs> thumbs, you know? <laughs> Right, so should we have a look at the take? Sure, yeah. yeah. Let's go to it. So, sounded great. Obviously, as you said before, there's not a lot going on. It's literally the equipment with the software. That's it. That's it. it. That's it. <laughs> I feel like there should be more to say. To make it, it's, it's, yeah, yeah. I'd like to make it a little harder. Um, <laughs> you could, their recording, I mean, we set up a, a little stack of effects right here. And I mean, having, like, if you sent that to me to master, just running through that mm. for a two bus, I, I, that'd be it. That'd be yeah, it. Yeah. And, and the concept is okay, so if you had drums, you'd have more channels, right? You'd have more instruments, you'd have more tracks, you'd have bass. But the concept is the same. If it sounds great in the front end, run it through a little two bus chain, you're kind of done. Yeah. I mean, there isn't, especially for something that's acoustic and organic, there really isn't, there doesn't always need to be a, a lot of heavy lifting, especially if you have great musicians. Yeah. You just, you just capture it. 
Yeah, I mean, like you said, when, when they, they finished the take, it wasn't a case of, let's go tweak that, let's do it again. It was second take, maybe, and everyone was kind of in agreement that it, it sounded pretty perfect already. Yeah, once we once we, yeah once we played it back, it sounded great. And we ran this little two bus thing, and it sounded great. You can run your effects through these in, as inserts, and so in something like Logic, it's really you just open up an I, an I, the I/O plugin. Mm. Uh, I think it's called Pipeline in Studio One, or as a hardware in certain Pro Tools, and you can instantiate these as hardware effects. And then we have this upcoming AFX to DAW, which they're still refining and yeah. working on. I know we have some beta testers out there working with it already. And then you will just open up one master plugin that you can access these with as well. So it is an environment you could certainly mix in. Mm. Um, it just listening to our users, they're not they're not sitting around waiting for that. They're already working with it and realizing, wow, I have less. There's less work to do. That's I think the main thing, isn't it? I mean, because. If you've got lots and lots of projects, lots of tracks within a project, that's time consuming. I think we might have touched on it earlier, but having the, the software which can help reduce that is so powerful. I think once you get in the habit of that, yeah. um, it, your life gets easier and you get to the result faster. I mean, how many times is it that the first take was the best take? Yeah. And, but then you were clipping somewhere or then you didn't have something on the track you didn't want. You want to go change a preamp or change a mic and then you, get, you lose that moment. You know, and with the beautiful thing about the antelope is, no, you can change the mic, you can change the preamp, you can change the yeah. effects chain, the hardware chain, and still have that first take. Yeah. And that makes life easier. And once that becomes a part of your workflow and you're used to it, uh, things get a lot easier. Things don't have to be hard. I, but, you know, the bottom line is the sound. Uh, I started with Antelope, all we had was clocks. Yeah. And we went around to studio, I went around LA and New York, studio to studio, and we just plugged that clock in, and it made everything sound better. I'm like, okay, my job is done here, yeah, and I'd yeah. leave, you know? And I used to joke, it's like changing the world one studio at a time, and you just turn that thing on, and wow, it's better. And I, really, we were batting like a, almost a thousand, you know, in mm. you know, American baseball vernacular, you know, but you were hitting almost every uh, every client. They just loved him. And then eventually, we just took that clock and put it in the interface. So we already know that the clocking makes just any studio sound better. Mm. Um, and so that that's the that real built-in advantage to Antelope. So if you're looking for the best sound, I think that needs to be one of the first places you look. Wow. That, that, that's, I think, a really great way of doing it. So you mentioned putting the effects on the two bus. What was the, the thought process behind doing that? Well, it's how I work when I master all the time anyway. But if you look at it this way, because these effects are in real time, um, you can go ahead and do that while you're working. So while you're mixing and even while you're tracking. So you're hearing that two bus as if it was hardware because it's hardware powered, yeah. again, by that FPGA. Um, so what, I, what, we, what we've done is run all of these through uh, the models, uh, we chose a microphone for the singer and we chose one for uh, for the guitar on The Verge. And then we ran the whole thing before and after through the two bus. Well, I really like that. I think that Meg and Paul did a great job. The this effect you were using, awesome. So I think that that's pretty much it. Is there anything else you want to say? Well, that's it. I mean, the sound does the talking. But that's it. That's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked it, obviously hit the like button, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching the Andertons YouTube Music Technology Channel. If you're a guitar player, or you play bass, or a drummer, or you're into keyboards, you might like one of our other YouTube channels, and I'll put links to those in the description below. Anyway, if you'd like to find out more about the products we featured in this video, please click up here. If you'd like to watch another video from this channel, please click here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like the one I'm wearing, click down here. And lastly, if you'd like to subscribe to our Music Tech YouTube channel, please click down here. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.